The OC Sonic meme has been a prevalent one on the interwebs, at least for those who dare to dabble in the darker, more hilarious aspects of the Blue Hedgehog's fandom. Original characters were initially something that young Sonic fans made, but as with most things online, people began to warp them into a parody, eventually giving the term OC Sonic a meme status. And some of them are really, really funny. If you're unfamiliar with parody Sonic characters, they have an adoration for being edgy. If you're unfamiliar with why parody Sonic characters have such an adoration for being edgy, just go take a look at the trailer for the Shadow the Hedgehog game. Yeah. The Sonic franchise has a history starting in the 2000s with trying to be cool and edgy, which are typically not traits you associate with anthropomorphic animals unless you're really young. So today we're diving down into the sometimes awful cesspool that is the darker side of the Sonic fandom with our list of the top 10 Sonic fan characters. Number 10, Edgehog the Hedgelord. So edgy. Edgehog is a is a is a duck, not really a hedgehog. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. You guys tell me. What animal is this? Don't really know. But it's like really edgy, and that's what matters, right? Up next, number nine, Dark Edge Bloodsword. Aside from having the best name ever for a fan character, Dark Edge Bloodsword is everything you want an awful Sonic original character to be. His weapon is a soul katana. I quote, its flames grow the more souls that it claims. So edgy. His favorite band is Slipknot. So edgy. His fave movie is The Dark Knight because he's so dark and edgy but not old enough to watch R-rated films yet. The bio goes on to say that he almost killed all of Sonic and his friends, but the blue blur used the power of friendship to make him good, even though Dark Edge Bloodsword has no soul and cannot love and is also an orphan just because. It then goes on to say that his friends are PewDiePie and Shrek, and I'm just gonna come out right now and call bullshit on that, although Shadow and Shrek. The character's stats then end off with Dark Edge Bloodsword's quote, which is, My heart is a black, tormented hole of emptiness. How are you? Oh, go f yourself, buddy. So and at number 8, Dakota the Hedgehog. There's this wikia we stumbled upon called Sonic Movie, which is apparently a wikia made for an imaginary series called Sonic Storm Adventure Series, which consists of a bunch of fake Sonic films along with fan made characters. And like, I wanna say that some kid whipped this up, but I'm not entirely sure. Anywho, I'm gonna be a dick about it. So Dakota is one of those characters who's on this page thing and is an actress and wants to be on TV. I quote, Some camera crew come and take pictures with her. I'm also unsure what distinguishes her as being a hedgehog though, because she kind of looks like a cat. And at number 7, Thomas the Hedgehog. Thomas is another character we found on the same Sonic movie wiki app. His backstory is just as random, and his photo is just as badly crafted in MS Paint. An orphan, because of course, Thomas was raised to be a slave and to kill Sonic, who he fights and surrenders to and then becomes good. And apparently, as an adult, the character is voiced by Bradley Cooper, so someone should probably let Bradley Cooper know that. Up next at 6, Raul. What is this cluster fuck of muscles and irrationally baggy pants? And that tattoo. Dear God, this abomination is 19 years old and weighs 250 pounds and has abs, according to the character stats. Have you ever seen a hedgehog with abs? Yeah, not a thing. Or if you have, like, please don't tell us. I really don't want to know. Hedgehogs don't have abs, even in the canon Sonic universe. So please stop putting ab muscles on Sonic characters, people. It's kind of weird. Anyway, Raul's info, if you can bear to do any reading after looking at the drawing itself, says, I quote, Raul is a hedgehog male attending Limitless City High School. He is Sakura's older brother. I don't know who the f that is, but alright. Raul is in a band along with two of his best friends. He enjoys listening to music. Alright, but like, couple questions. One, why is he so jacked? Two, what instrument does he play? Because I mean, if you're gonna give us details, at least, you know, be specific. Also, three, who is Sakura? These are all answers we don't really need, but consider this a lesson. Context, friends, is always important. Up next, number five, Ricky the Fire Hedgehog. Ricky has a simpler list of character stats, but that doesn't make him any less special, now does it? First off, you know that he's the real deal because he's super edgy with that gun, which OVS has a silencer on it because guns. He has fire powers and gun skills. And he's got a palm full of fire because pyros are super cool. Cool. Second, the creator of this wonderful OC has thankfully included Ricky's religion, because it was really super important for everyone to know that of course he's Christian. But perhaps the best part of this original character, minus the disproportionate one skinny leg, one chunky leg, is the bottom category of Ricky's status. I quote, single, taken. Gotcha. I sincerely hope that this unfortunate creation was made earnestly, because that would actually be pretty great and make it funnier. Up next, number four, Tyler the Hedgehog. This hilarious Comic Sans filled MS Paint creation is Tyler the Hedgehog. 
Hedgehog, a sad, scrunchy face, diaper wearing hedgehog who looks like he's had better days. Casually holding a 55 pound dumbbell, the character card also illustrates the scale of Tyler's height, comparing him to a two story house. Apparently, he's the size of 10 houses, but actually, if you calculate it with the scale of what they included in the picture, it's more like six or seven houses. Excuse me for wanting some accuracy here. The hedgehog's origin story tells of Tyler eating a monkey spitting fire, resulting in his sad expression, which totally explains everything else going on in this image, right? Yeah. And what are his powers, you may ask? Well, according to this image, he is not as fast as Sonic, but is pretty fast in bed. And then it says always sad face, but always is spelt wrong. Up next, number three, Dragovic. I just, I just can't anymore. I'm, uh, just look at it. Up next, number two, Sonichu. Sonichu is arguably the most well-known Sonic fan character. Now considered to be a meme, Sonichu was a character created by a dude named Christian Weston Chandler. Otherwise known as Chris Chan, and Sonichu was the protagonist in a webcomic that he crafted. As you've probably already gauged, the character is an amalgamation between Sonic and Pokemon's Pikachu. And as you've also probably already gauged, it was really bad, which has led to some serious trolling and mocking of the webcomic and its amateur art and writing. Chris responded to this by trying to have certain parts of said trolling taken down off the web, like the article on the character in the Encyclopedia Dramatica, but that just led to more aggressive trolling. I mean, ugh, just how could you not? And last but not least, in an Number one, Cold Steel the Hedge Hedge. If there's one OC that can top Sonichu, it's Cold Steel. Cold Steel is the epitome of what cringeworthy Sonic original characters encompass. Widely mocked as a stereotype of an edgy teen, Cold Steel's bio is filled with all of the worst parts of the Sonic fandom that you can imagine. Minus weird, eater, furry, sex. That's I'm glad that that is not there. I've seen too much of it because of these videos. The character was originally posted on Twitter, although the original creator is unknown, even though the image at the bottom is credited to Blood Skull Boy 84 whether or not that's a real person is also unknown. And while it feels as if Cold Steel himself must be a parody of OC creations out there on the interwebs, that too is unconfirmed. Regardless, Cold Steel has brought us such wonderful mock-worthy gems, like his catchphrase, Psh, nothing personnel, kid, and a bunch of teenage angst concerning sexuality and being cool. Apparently the color purple's gay, according to Cold Steel. Alright, there we have it, friends. Which of these terrifying Sonic characters was your favorite? I mean, gotta love Sonichu, but like, Cold Steel though? Oh, and Raul, I mean the tattoo that makes no like sense when you consider anatomy and how skin is in real life. If there's some OCs that you think we should take a look at, give us a shout in those comments below. If you dug this video, please spread the love and hit that like button. Click on subscribe if you'd like to hang out with us some more. And if you're craving some more gaming or Sonic videos, make sure you click on that playlist that's up on your screen right now. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody, I'll catch you all in the next one.